Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Darwin. I make videos about tech that help you win at life. And I got my first energy bill for a full month after I started generating with the solar roof. And it was way more than I ever expected the bill to be. So when I first got my solar roof, I figured I am not paying any more energy bills anymore. But it turns out I was completely wrong. I actually do have to pay for some energy because of net metering two. Net metering two in California is actually a new net metering plan that is automatically enrolled to any new solar customers. So anybody who got solar after about 2017, 2018, about that time frame, is automatically enrolled in net metering two. Today I'm gonna to go ahead and break it down and show you exactly what my costs are under the net metering two program. So as you can see, this is my bill right here and under my account summary, my first month of full solar generation, I was billed $15.12. So when you actually take a look at the amount of energy I generated, you can see that I generated a positive amount of energy totaling 665 kilowatt hours. So you might be asking why all the charges? You can actually see the charges here and it's actually part of the net metering two program. So the details of the new charges are a combination of a basic charge of just powering on the system every single day, whether or not you use energy. So that came out to a dollar and five cents. The NBCs or the non-bypassable charges actually came out to $5.37 and um, $2.29. So these charges are actually built into net metering too. And everybody who gets solar, you will have these charges as long as you're pulling energy from the grid. Now the difference here is that under a net metering energy one program, every single kilowatt hour that you draw from the grid can be replaced by every single kilowatt hour that you generate. So this is the difference here. It's the NBCs, it's a non-bypassable charges that must be added on to your net metering two plan that you cannot compensate for. So even when you generate way more energy than you use, you are still gonna be charged at these rates for the amount of energy you pull from the grid. So it shows that I pulled 309 kilowatt hours from the grid. So these are non-bypassable charges and anybody who is getting solar panel now will be charged these rates. So it's just something you should be aware of when you get solar that you will still have charges, especially if you don't have a battery. Now, because I am pulling energy from the grid during off-peak hours, and I tend to use the most energy during off-peak hours, I'm actually gonna generate a good amount of these NBC charges. When you total up the charges, it comes out to about two cents per kilowatt hour that you are being charged when you're pulling from the grid. So since you're being charged two cents per kilowatt hour for every kilowatt that you're pulling from the grid, it does make a lot of sense that if you pull a lot of energy from the grid to actually get a battery. That way you can just pull the energy from your battery instead of pulling from the grid and avoid these NBC charges. Also because of this, it makes a lot of sense to use energy during the daylight when you're not on peak hours so that you can maximize the amount of energy that you use and burn on the spot. So charging an electric car, if you're not on peak hours, it makes sense to go ahead and charge the car while your roof or panels are generating power so you can use the energy right then and there instead of paying two cents per kilowatt hour to use that energy later on when you're not generating any, any energy at all. So in the end, I am pretty confused that my energy charges came out to $15 a month, even though I was net positive on my generation. As you can see here, I generated so much energy. I generated 665 kilowatt hours of energy and I was still being charged at the end of the day. Mind you, the 665 kilowatt hours is the amount of energy that I fed back into the grid and the energy company is able to take that power and sell it to other people. Now it makes total sense that the energy company needs to charge at least some fee because if everybody went solar, they would make nothing at all under the regular net metering plan, which did not have NBCs. So for anybody who has solar or is thinking about getting solar, I hope this video helped you out. Make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe to the video. And if you are thinking about solar, please use my Tesla referral code in the description below. I've had a few people reach out to me and they were able to ask questions and I was able to answer those questions to help them get started on either getting a solar roof or getting a Tesla order. So please reach out to me if you have any questions about solar roof or solar panel or even Tesla vehicles. All I ask is that you use my referral code to um, basically help support this channel and help me continue to be motivated to make these videos for you guys. So until next time, please stay safe, stay cool, keep generating that power. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.